Hello again, YouTube. So I want to talk about Milwaukee. I do. Like, I want to talk about Milwaukee. And if you don't think Milwaukee is the same as Chicago, Detroit, and St. Louis, come on here. Let's see. It's the same thing. And this is what I learned. Like, I always knew, like, when I came back, I knew pretty much what was going on here but I just noticed something like here the smart people be practically finna run out of gas or practically have to pee on they self or feel like they gonna pee on they self just trying to get in an area where their car is safe and or they're safe the biggest, the biggest problem here ain't murder. That's a problem. It is. The biggest problem here is it's too many freaking thieves. They steal everything. So a lot of times, like what just happened to me, that's what made me get this idea for this video. I'm like, nope, can't go there. Nope, can't go there. I got a Kia. And if you ain't heard that, well, I got the anti-lock thing on there, but to be honest, that dealership, I stopped dealing with them. I don't know if they even put it on there. That's how shysty they are. They'll act nice to you, but then your car won't get better when you take it to them. It'll get worse. So, I'm sitting here driving, right, after I made it to one of my uh, destinations. And I'm like, I got to use the bathroom because I drank all that water before I started. And I'm looking like, nope, can't go there. Nope, 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 because I got stuff in my car that a thief would be happy to get. So I'm like trying to figure out where to go. Oh, okay, nope, can't go there. Nope, can't go there. Then I said, forget it. So I had to use it. And I went to a little hood spot. But if you, let me tell you something about here. It ain't about fear. I grew up here. I know what, I know what I'm facing. The 90s Milwaukee, stuff was happening, stuff was going down, but like dudes had more chill about them. Like these guys, a lot of these guys, they don't know how to just go to work every day, stack your money, invest your money, budget your money, and you can do what you need to do. What they, what a lot of them like to do, especially the teenagers, is still, you can see it all in their face. Like when you pull up sometime, like you'd be like, man, I hope they don't bust my window trying to get in my car, you know, because that's what they do here. And that's the main problem here. Like people don't even, you you can't even get tenant windows like that here. Cause if you got tenant windows, these somebody gonna come along and try to get in your car, see what else you got in there. Cause they attitude is why you got tenant windows, you know? So it's all these dudes calling each other's bums, but they can't make it without selling something illegal like drugs or stealing and robbing. Like, if you got to rob people, you a bum. I don't care how you dress. I don't care if you came up or I done came up and you buying Balenciagas and all that, Balmain, whatever them brands is. I don't care. If you got to do that to get money, you are a bum. That's why. Just get a job. Well, I can't. Well, I got seven felonies. Don't put them on there. So you're going to go to jail because you got seven felonies? If people want to hold your felonies against you, all right, I'm not going to put them on here then. You won't give me a job? Because that's the only way. Okay, let me ask you something that I always ask. Would you rather try to do some grimy stuff and end up dead or in jail? Or would you rather just leave something off your application? You take your pick. You take your pick. 
Because to be honest with you, a lot of them, they're not going to dig off into it anyway. They don't have the time. It just depends on what jobs you're going for. Some of them will, but some of them won't. If that's your problem, you need to find the ones that won't because all that stealing, you, once you turn around, trust me, man, I know. Once you start changing your life, the devil is going to accuse you before God and try to bring all that stuff back at you because of what you was doing to people. The devil will tell the most high, like, you trying to let people off easy. You trying to let people off easy. So, you know, that's what I wanted to talk about. That's why I learned, you know what, man? I know white people don't like black people like that, but I don't care. Like, if I can move somewhere where they not stealing, where people got their own money, they got incomes, then what the problem I just had wouldn't be a problem. Like, I had to get through this area because that's where all them bums and thieves at. That I come out my car gone or I come out and something out of my car is gone because they looking at that as a survival method where where if I struggle I struggle I'm not gonna do that kind of stuff to make money just not I ain't gonna steal nothing or none of that stuff but a lot of people do and a lot of people will and that's why the smart ones know this See, a lot of people in Milwaukee get caught up, get robbed and stuff like that when they either underestimate these guys or they think that it won't happen to them. You go in the ATM at a HUD store at night. These dudes ain't going to do nothing but watch. They All they do is stand and watch people. That, that just don't make sense. Go to the suburbs, get your money out early. Get your gas while the sun is still up. The people be setting themselves up because they don't be acting street smart. Like what I was just doing, that's street smart. Like who wants to pay a $500 deductible every second? And who wants to pay for these expensive repairs when they start damaging your car? And I wanna say this to these young guys. If anybody from Milwaukee see this video, when you be doing that, that's property damage and that's a felony in the state of Wisconsin. So if you get caught, you blame yourself. Now you're talking about you can't get a job because you got all these felonies that you really didn't even have to have. All you had to do was carry yourself like a young man becoming an old man. And then you could have avoided all that stuff. NBA young boy ain't gonna bail you out. Lil Dirk ain't gonna bail you out. These guys ain't gonna bail you out. I wouldn't be surprised if NBA young boy be one of those rappers that five years from now, he just all the way civilized like Ice Cube. I would, it wouldn't surprise me none. That's how it be. Like five years from now, the only thing he doing is smoking weed. He done got rid of all his friends. I, it wouldn't surprise me. For one, he's a Libra. So I know when he's thinking straight, he's thinking fairly and balanced. For two, you could tell like some of the moves he making already. That, watch, five years from now, Remember how Waka Flocka was? Look at him now. Not the same. That's, I think NBA Youngboy gonna be the same way. And all of y'all gonna be in jail trying to live the lifestyle that y'all hear on the wax, on the music, on the tracks. Not good and not smart. Not good and not smart. So, 
that's what I learned, man. You know, as much as I love Milwaukee, the sports team, the food, we got some restaurants here, y'all. I'm going to tell you. Uh, everything from, like, some of our restaurants here become chain restaurants, but they didn't start out like Cousin Subs. If I ever leave and come back again, well, I'm going to leave. But if I come back again, I've got to get me some cousins when I come back. Got to get some cousins. So we got Culver's. Some people got Whataburger. We got Culver's. Culver's be so packed, man. Culver's be packed. But I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to move out of your city, man. Milwaukee is one of these cities where if you're trying to have, they put dudes in the trunk here. You get to talking too much. I got a settlement for this amount of money. Yep, those guys will put you in the trunk. I heard a, it was a kid that was on my pod when I was at detention. Dude was telling them, well, I got I got $10,000. Man, them guys practically kidnapped that dude. Took his money, made him open his safe up. And guess what? One of them practically got off scot-free. Here you can't be telling people your business, man. And it's not smart to be trying to walk around fresh all day either. Because they watch it. If they'll rob an armored truck, you already know they don't get you. Well, my cousin them, they don't care about that. They not worried about your cousin them. Milwaukee is hood. It's a good place. You know, the school system, we learn a lot of manners, how to be polite. And you'll see that if you come here, like the older people are very polite, hold the door open for each other. Thank you, excuse me. They speak, how you doing? It's a good place, but what's messing it up is all that stealing and all these thieves, all this random starting conflicts, stuff like that. Just don't know how to leave people alone. But for the most part, man, this is a good city, man. It's just a few individuals that's bringing it down because they don't know what to follow they don't know how to have a game plan in life, so on and so forth. But the fact that I had to just ride practically with my gas light on, and I was finna go in the bushes. Cause I was like, man, I ain't going here. All they gonna do is try to mess with my car or something. All these young dudes. But anyway, thanks for watching. Keep tuning in. This is The Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simp in All Subjects channel.